Hi and welcome everyone to this lesson. In this lesson, we will talk about the automatic transfer switch or ATS and we will talk about the selection of the ATS. So first, what does an automatic transfer switch do? The purpose of an ATS is to ensure the continuous delivery of electrical power from one of the two power sources to a connected uh, load, such as, for example, electrical equipment, motors, uh, uh, computers, or any other electrical device. So if you look at this figure, we have here an automatic transfer switch. And as you can see here, we have this one is a single phase, okay, single phase. You will see here uh, two parts or three parts here. The first one here, we have here our primary source. So we are going to enter the, um, uh, the neutral and the phase, uh, let's say N and A. Okay, neutral and the phase. Okay, so this is the primary source. And this is the backup source. Okay, coming from an electrical generator or any other source such as a utility grid. Then we have here our output which is going to our electrical load, such as a motor or a, a computer or any electrical equipment. Now, what does this automatic transfer do? Is that it ensures the continuous delivery of electrical power. So let's say we have here our utility and our utility has a problem in it. Then this device or this automatic transfer switch will switch the electrical power from the utility grid and instead of taking this uh, electrical power from the utility grid it will start taking electrical power from the back up or the other utility grid okay in order to ensure the continuous delivery of electrical power as you can see in this figure we have two letters in the ATS or in the automatic transfer switch you can see we have a letter N and another letter uh, R. N here representing what? Representing the normal power. So here we have our normal power or the um, utility grid, for example, or an electrical generator, the main or the primary source of electrical power. We connect it here. And the reserve power or the backup power will be connected here. As you can see here, for example, you can see this is our automatic transfer switch and we have here the primary source, which is the grid and the backup source, which is a generator. Here we have the line and the neutral line and the neutral coming through the uh, ATS line neutral, for example, line neutral, depending on the connection here. Then we have our output. Our output will go through this loop. Okay, so as you can see in this figure, we have the first um, source here, like this, and second source, let's say, for example, this one is a line, and this one is a neutral. Then the second source, okay, this is our loot, like this, okay, uh, let's uh, choose another uh, color here, okay, like this. Uh, for example, the second uh, source, the line will be connected to the line itself, uh, the neutral itself, the neutral connected to the other neutral, and the line will be connected to the other line, like this. So as if these two sources are parallel to each other. However, the automatic transfer switch will just operate one of these sources. For example, the electrical power can be coming from here or can be coming from here not both of them at the same time okay so let's switch back to the, the red one like this so as you can see here a three phase uh, automatic transfer switch or ets as you can see n which is a normal power and r the reserve power primary source is a three phase neutral three phase and neutral and as you can see that the output are connected parallel to each other you can see here the loot and as you can see, line A connected with A, B 
connected with P, C connected with C, and the neutral connected with the other neutral. So as you can see, what is the sequence of this uh, ATS or the transfer uh, switch? The first one, if the normal utility power source fills, or here we are talking about the primary source. So let's say there is a problem in the primary source. What will happen in this case? In this case, the transfer switch, instead of uh, taking the electrical power from the primary source, it will start providing the electrical power from the backup source. So the transfer switch will shift the load to the emergency power source when the power from the generator or the backup utility feed is stable. Here we are talking about the backup source. The backup source can be an electrical generator or it can be another utility grid. And when the source is within the prescribed voltage and frequency tolerance, it will start providing electrical power from it. So depending on the facility needs and preferences, the transfer process can be self-acting or manually initiated. So as you can see here, we have here a switch here. Uh, it's not clear what is written here, but uh, the what is written here should be uh, auto or manual. You can select between that this switch uh, is operating manually or uh, auto mode. If the auto mode is on or off. And here you can see this switch. You can switch it to this side or this side manually to control the uh, current source or the uh, source of electrical power. So the transfer switch returns back from the emergency uh, source to the normal source when the utility power is restored. So when this one fails, it will switch to this source. And when the utility comes back, it will turn off this source and start taking electrical power back normally from this uh, primary source. And the retransfer process, again, it is a self-acting process or a manually initiated process. Now let's talk about the ATS arrangement. For example, if we have two sources and we are switching between them, these two sources can be a primary source, utility, a backup source, generator, or it can be a primary source, a utility, and a backup source, another utility, or it can be a primary source, a generator, and the backup source, another generator. For the three sources, it can be arranged like this. You can see we have utility, generator, and generator. And we use two automatic transfer switch in order to switch between three generators. One, two, three, or uh, to be more specific, three sources. So it can be utility, generator, generator. It can be utility like this and two generator switched between an automatic uh, transfer switch. And it can be like this, a utility, utility, generator. And it can be like this. So we have different arrangements for the ATS. The function of all of these arrangements is to switch between the different sources. Now, the last thing we would like to discuss is how can we select the rating of the ETS or the automatic transfer switch. So as you can see here, the uh, push button or the uh, switch, which I discussed before here, auto and manual. So you can change between these two modes by uh, switching this to the left, uh, to the right or to the left as you would like. And as you can see this one, you can switch it to the left or the right if you choose the manual mode. So how can we select the ETS? It's really, really simple. The transfer switch is exactly equal to the rating of the automatic transfer switch is exactly equal to the electrical panel's main circuit breaker. So for example, if this ETS, here we have two supplies, one, and second supply, and we are going to our electrical load, right? So this electrical load has an electrical panel, okay? Electrical panel with a circuit breaker. Here we have a main circuit breaker of the electrical panel of the load itself, right? So this circuit breaker, let's say for example, is 100 ampere, okay? 
So in this case, we are going to select an automatic transfer switch with an uh, rating of 100 amperes. Okay, it's really easy. This rating matches the rating of the main circuit breaker. And for example, we can have ATS. The ratings available is between 32 amperes to 800 amperes with a rated frequency of 50 to 60 hertz. And also we would like to mention that there are some types of ATS that can reach up to 4000 amperes for the diesel generators. So in this lesson, we talked about the ATS or the automatic transfer switch and how can we select it.